Good afternoon, my dear students. On behalf of NTCC High School family, this is Regina Victor Joseph, your subject teacher for English. Welcome you to the online class. But before we proceed, instructions: use earphone or headphone for better sound clarity. Sit in a quiet place to avoid any mishaps. Keep a book. pencil and eraser handy read the lesson loudly as guided by the teacher you may pause the video to make note of important points and resume to the ppt stay indoors and healthy at home sports so here we can see a picture of sports there are two pictures On my left hand side we have small boys who are playing football and towards the right hand side we have two girls who are playing football I'm sure each of us like to play sports isn't it So today's topic children is in connection with sports The lesson that we're going to do today is lesson number 7 Khashba Jadav from a Bal Bharati textbook. Now this is going to be part one, okay? So this is the picture of Khashba Jadav. Now you can see this symbol over here. It's like the circles. There are five circles. And uh, last time in my life class, I asked you. do you know what are olympic games so have you heard about olympic games so let us see what it is now this is the picture or the symbol of the olympic okay you can see the colors as blue black red yellow and green now you can see the picture over here Sportsmen from many different countries of the world come together for the Olympic Games. Yes, that's correct, children. Like sportsmen from many different countries of the world, they come together for this very big event that is the Olympic Games. And a number of events are held. Okay, it's not one or two. A number of events. I cannot even tell you that many events. And people wait to watch these Olympic Games. So what are these games and events that are held in Olympic? There are games, athletics events like high jump, long jump, running, gymnastic events, swimming and so on. So you can see in each circle we can see the sports. Okay like weight lifting, you have cycling, then you have uh, the bow and arrow, right? then you have high jump you have long jump and so on the list just goes on these are just few events now there are games athletic events like high jump i told you long jump running gymnastics you even have boxing or wrestling matches so you can see towards my left you can see the picture of uh, long jump and then on my right hand side you have boxing match that is going on and many other things so all these events take place during olympic games then here you can see the picture of swimming and on my left hand side and towards my right hand side there is a wrestling match that is going on have you watched this wrestling match yes it's very nice to watch even swimming i'm sure some of you may be knowing how to swim These are all sports children to keep yourself active and healthy. Please get involved and you know do some kind of sports, some kind of physical activity. And over here all these pictures that you can see are symbols that are in connection with Olympic games, okay? Like many many competitions like diving, boxing, wrestling and many other things that are involved in this huge event of Olympic games. Now, when there's winners, 
you know by now that you have medals that you have to win. So what are the three medals that you have? The winners are given gold, silver and bronze. So the person who stands first, definitely they, are, they deserve the gold medal. The second winner deserves the silver medal. And the person who stands third gets the bronze medal. So here I have showed you the picture of those three medals that you can, you know, get in connection with once when you have won any competition in this Olympic game. An Olympic medal is an honor and an Olympic winner is considered to be a world champion. Yes, that's very true. An Olympic medal is an honor, okay, because uh, you have won it at such a huge platform. And this Olympic winner is considered to be a worldwide champion because this is telecast on the TV and everyone's eyes are glued to watch these events, these sports, right? So people know you that, you know, when you're being watched on the television, like, okay, like if I say, for example, uh, you know, Sneha, she won the wrestling match. Like for example, this Kashaba Jadav. Okay. So it's a very big pride when you win uh, any kind of event or game during this Olympics. And the first person to win a medal for our independent India was a wrestler from Maharashtra. That's correct, children. You have heard that very rightly. That the first person to win a medal for our independent India was a wrestler from our very own Maharashtra. Okay. So, we know we are living in Maharashtra, the state of Maharashtra, right? So, let us see who is that first person who made our India proud and also at the same time Maharashtra because he was from Maharashtra. He is none other than Khashaba Jadav. Yes, students. His name was Khashaba Jadav. Now, he was a wrestler. Okay. So, this is the part one that I wanted to explain to you all. So, for your homework, what you have to do is you have to stick five pictures of Olympic winners. Like one is this Kashaba Jadav. Okay. So, and at the same time, you have to write five lines on each of this Olympic player. Okay. Like you have Gita Fogart. Then you have, uh, you know, this Kashaba Jadav. So, you can write. Uh, stick their pictures in your English notebook and you have to write five lines on each Olympic winner. Please see that you stick the pictures neatly and write the information neatly in your English notebook. Okay. All right. And take, uh, you know, take care when you're doing your work. Do your work under the su supervision of your adults, that is your parents, especially okay and uh, stick it nicely do a neat job okay students and i will explain the part two in the next lecture so till then thank you so much for your time god bless you all